First off, I wanted to alert you to uh, an event this Friday, May 20th, uh, that should be very interesting um, from 11 a.m. to uh, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, live and on Zoom, a humanitarian aid kit of war songs featuring Ia Kiva, Helena Crook, and moderated by Amelia Glazer. The link for more info and to register for the session and all forms of attendance, including Zoom, require registration, is in the description. Hope to see you there. Tonight's Ukrainian poet writes movingly about a different, terrible, horrible, horrific event in Ukraine. Prepiat. Still life by Oksana Zabushko. Translated by Lisa Sapenkov. It could be dawn. The light crumpled like sheets. The ashtray full. A shadow multiplies on four walls. The room is empty, no witnesses. But someone was here. A moment ago, twin tears shimmered on polished wood. Did a couple live here? In the armchair, a suit, recently filled by a body, has collapsed into a bolt of fabric. Come in, look around. No one's here. Just the breathing air crushed as though by a tank. A half-finished sweater remembers someone's fingers. A book lies open, marked by a fingernail. How amazing, this silence beyond the boundary. On the polished wood, two stains. On the floor, by the armchair, an apple. Bitten, but not brown. Previate, Still Life, by Oksana Zbushko. Translated by Lisa Sapenkov. On a totally different subject, but in light of recent events, I would urge everyone, even if you are vaxxed and boosted, to continue to remain careful, distance, and masked when around people. From what I understand, this COVID is not at all a fun ride. The links to assist the ongoing humanitarian efforts in Ukraine are in the description, as is the link for the event mentioned at the top of this video. Please be safe, kids. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>